Uh, our recent uh, meta-analysis uh, today, feedback to the region, this is data from a full analysis of four randomized trials comparing Kaiser versus BMS. There was a 65% relative risk reduction uh, in favor of uh, BES in the need for repeat disaster radiation. In Korea, uh, we mostly use the Nikes Prime scent, the Prone Development scent, uh, the Biomatrix and the Hori scent, uh, the Nebo scent, and now the uh, first, uh, there have been some metallic alloy shades, now they're mostly co op chromium scents, platinum uh, chromium scents, now with the uh, chromium element scent. Second, there's a uh, reduced scent scrub thickness, as I told you before. Third is more biocompatible polymer. There's a fluorinated co polymer that is used with the dynasty chromium scent. There's also the biolase polymer uh, used for the resident uh, scent. For the scientific, we'll incorporate all bioabsorbable polymer technology instead of the biostable polymer technology using the second generation EDS. Also, for the second generation EDS compared to the first generation EDS, there's a smaller drug load, uh, and these are the major differences uh, with the second generation EDS. So what do we call the significant improvement? I think uh, we can divide it into these four aspects. First, uh, there's the uh, aspect of efficacy, where we usually look at the nail and small growth. So we usually look at this through late loss. Second is the efficacy outcome, uh, target regional vascularization, or usually most uh, uh, stent safety. And fourth is probably uh, the right off stent promotions rates of these stents. So is there any head-to-head -head evidence for second generation versus first generation DES? Most of the uh, evidence that is available at present is the uh, comparison between the Dynasty Chromos stent, the Devalogamus Illumin stent, versus the first uh, Endeavor Resolute stent. However, there is no randomized trial comparing the Endeavor Resolute stent versus the first stent. Also, there is still uh, data accumulated for the third generation DES, so Chromos Element Science Prime, Biometric Nubori, and Resolute Integrity are all studied in various uh, uh, randomized trials. In our center in Korea, uh, we are uh, uh, running the host assured trial, the host bioinus registry, the host resolute integrity registry, and the excellent prime registry, which we hope will uh, answer some of the questions about the third generation EDS. The trial, that's the proof and the reset trial that was recently uh, presented at ESG. So first, let's look at the Zion uh, Chromos versus uh, Taxis data. So this is a summary of the four randomized uh, controlled trials uh, comparing Zionist uh, Promis versus Taxis. Cumulative uh, number of patients is about uh, 7,000 patients. Uh, it's a various uh, mixture of uh, trials that enrolled uh, some selected patients versus a uh, compared trial, which was an all-commerce trial. The number of patients enrolled uh, varied from uh, 300 to almost uh, 3,700 in this year's four trial. If you look at the data, all cause mortality, there was no significant difference between the second generation versus the first generation EDS. However, we start to see changes from the myocardial infarction. Uh, regarding myocardial infarction, uh, at one year, 4% versus 2.1%. At two year, 5.5% versus 2.9%. There was a 47% relative risk reduction in, uh, uh, for the risk of myocardial infarction in the second generation EDS versus the first generation EDS uh, access. Also for ARC definite stent thrombosis, 1.6% versus 0.5%, a 70% uh, uh, significant uh, relative risk reduction for the second generation DES. If you take the ARC definite and thrombosis stent thrombosis, the difference uh, is 2.3% versus 0.5%. Also for ARC definite and thrombosis stent thrombosis, the difference is 2.3% versus 0.7%, a still 70% relative risk reduction with the second generation DES versus the tax. 4% after difference at two years, uh, the difference was maintained. 2.5% after risk, risk reduction. Uh, relative risk reduction was about 40% uh, with the Zion's key from the versus the tax This is a, a, a pooled uh, patient level analysis of all of the uh, stem thrombosis. So if you look at all stem thrombosis, we divide it between early, late, and very late stem thrombosis. Whichever uh, parameter that we look at, there is a significant reduction of uh, stem thrombosis with the second generation ES versus uh, uh, the past. Now let's move on to uh, Nine Street Promise versus the Cypher data. So there's uh, actually a CTPA in the SS diabetes up to about 2,800 patients in the sort out four trial. 
So the, there was so we uh, at Seoul National University did a decent meta analysis of all the six randomized trials and the three registries that compared uh, dietary promise uh, with the science standard. Uh, from this data, we see that uh, regarding cardiac death, there was no significant difference uh, between the two stands. However, from myocardial infarction, there starts to be a slight difference. Uh, there's marginal significance of uh, the reduction for myocardial infarction uh, with the second generation DES. Stand cell process, we start to see significance. Uh, there's uh, about a 30% of the risk reduction of the second generation dynasty chromostat versus the cytostat. Also, for triglyceride revascularization, although it's not statistically significant, we definitely see a trend that favors the second generation DES versus the first generation DES. Also for the composite maze, uh, uh, the second generation uh, of fair better. So this is a, a recent uh, meta-analysis done by uh, George Nagas and colleagues that compared EDS versus all non-EDS uh, stents. In all of the randomized trials, looking at, uh, in particular at stencil hoses, they showed that the uh, definite problem with stencil hoses was significantly lower in the epidemiology of new stents, and also the risk for the myocardial infarction was also significantly lower uh, with the uh, second generation, number one, two, So the summary of the second generation dynasty thomas test is that they have better efficacy than taxes, similar efficacy with cipher, they have a significantly lower rate of the myocardial infarction and central roses compared to the taxes in the metal analysis. However, there is no difference in death and CLR, but a definite trend for lower MI and central roses rates compared to the cipher and the metal analysis. However, uh, some of these data are only up to one year, so we need more data and long-term follow-up to confirm the uh, safety of our overall emergency stance. So in conclusion, the bar has been raised for stent performance. I think the dynasty promise has performed better in most aspects and similar in the published uh, results of the excellent RCT uh, that, was, that I just uh, explained in the talk. So the, uh, the, the trial was designed to published in the American Heart Journal uh, in 2009. We are running the full research trial the 3,750 patient uh, trial that will uh, randomize between the promise element, which is a platinum chromium based uh, epidemiology solution set, versus a cobalt chromium based uh, pseudorobalic solution set, two to one randomization. Also, we will test whether triple antiplatelet therapy, because we use a lot of sloxazole in Korea, versus a uh, double dose of platelets for one month, uh, has any difference, and this will be a two by two randomization. We just finished enrollment uh, just last week. So we hope to present the, the antiplatelet arm at ACC next year and uh, the one year uh, set comparison arm two years from now at the ACC. Also, uh, we have various uh, set registries. So we have 5,000 patient excellent registry, uh, 4,000 patient residual career registry. Also, we are doing a registry for the biolimus solution stent, uh, 2,000 patients. Also, the excellent prime registry and the post residual integrity, integrity registry.